The following function gives the value of a flat screen TV in dollars T years after the purchase. We're given F of T equals 2,500 times 0 0.68 raised to the power of T. Notice how the given exponential function is in the form f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x, where a is the initial or starting amount, and the base b is equal to 1 plus r, where r would be the growth rate. And notice in this case, because the base is less than 1, r is going to be negative, which means we have exponential decay, or in this case, depreciation. So again, first recognize the given function f of t is in the form a times b raised to the power of t because we have a function of t where the base b is equal to 1 plus r. So r is going to be the decay rate, or in this case the depreciation rate, per unit of time, or in this case per year. So let's first determine r, which will give us the annual depreciation rate. We would have 0 0.68 equals 1 plus r. Well, if we want, r is equal to 0 0.68 minus 1, so we have r equals negative 0 0.32. So notice how the rate r as a percentage would be negative 32%, which means we have exponential decay, and therefore the annual depreciation rate is 32%. So we don't include the sign when giving the depreciation rate because we're describing this as a depreciation rate. Also recognize that because the base is 0 0.68, every year the TV retains 68% of its value and loses 32% of the value. Now we're also asked to determine the equivalent continuous depreciation rate. To do this, we need to recognize that when we have an exponential function with base e, or in the form f of x equals a times e raised to the power of kx, k will give us the continuous growth or decay rate. So in order to find k, we need to recognize that we want these two exponential functions to be equivalent or equal to each other, which means b raised to the power of x would have to be equal to e raised to the power of kx. So if b to the x equals e to the kx, then it follows that the base b must equal e to the k. So we can use this equation here to determine k, which will give us the continuous depreciation rate. So going back up to the given function, notice how the base is 0 0.68. So we'd have 0 0.68 equals e raised to the power of k. Again, this is from the fact that we know the base b must equal e to the k. And now to solve this exponential equation for k, we'll rewrite this exponential equation as a log equation, where if we have y equals e to the x, the equivalent log equation is x equals natural log y. Remember, natural log is log base e. So as a log equation, we know we'll have natural log because we have base e here. A logarithm is an exponent, so this logarithm is going to equal k. And because e to the k is equal to the number 0 0.68, our log equation is k equals natural log 0 0.68. And now we'll go to the calculator to get our decimal approximation for k, which will give us the continuous depreciation rate. <clears throat> so we enter natural log 0 0.68, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how to four decimal places, k would be approximately negative 0.38 which is a decimal, would be negative 38.57%. So again, because we have a negative value for k, we know we have exponential decay, or in this case depreciation. So the equivalent continuous depreciation rate would be 38 0.57%. This might act, and this might actually, and this, and this result, and the, and this result may be surprising. The continuous depreciation rate is higher than you, than the equivalent annual depreciation rate, and we'll show, and we'll.
we'll verify this using the graphing calculator in just a moment. But now looking at part B, we're asked to write the given exponential function in the form f of t equals a times e raised to the power of kt. And because we already know a and k, we have all the information we need to write the exponential function with base e. We would have f of t equals a, the initial starting amount is still 2,500, times e raised to the power of kt. We know k is approximately negative 0 0.3857. So the exponent would be negative 0.3857t. So this exponential equation with base e is equivalent to the exponential equation that's given with base 0 0.68. And again, let's go ahead and verify these two functions are equivalent using the table feature of the graphing calculator. However, because we did round the value of k, there is going to be a slight variation between the two function values, but they will be very close. So we'll go ahead and press y equals, clear out any old functions, and we'll enter the given function in y1, which is 2,500, and then times 0 0.68, raised to the power of, let's use x instead of t, so we'll use the caret here, the exponent key, and then x, enter. And now we'll enter the equivalent equation with base e. So we have 2,500. Second natural log brings up e raised to the power of, and the exponent is negative 0 0.3857 times x. Enter. And now we'll use a table feature to compare the y values for these two functions with the same inputs or the same x values. Before we do this, though, Let's make sure that x is on automatic, so we'll press second window for table set. And notice how automatic is already highlighted here for the independent variable. So we'll press second graph. And notice how y1 and y2 are almost exactly the same value. Again, there's a slight variation because we did round the value of k. But notice how y1 and y2 represent the value of the TV in this case, x years after the purchase. I hope you found this helpful.